Hey guys, um, this video is about fire starters and I had a question and I was pondering it before I fell asleep. Had, I fell asleep and I had a dream, vision dream, more like a dream, but it was still, it was an answer to what I was pondering about. Now, I'm going to start off here. It's crazy, and I gotta watch my words because I don't want to be a bad guy and break the freedom of speech code that's now being implemented upon us. So, so how does it work in this dream? I think. So you know how they're bringing over all the uh, migrants in North America and it's pissing off all the North Americans and the Europeans and everything Commonwealth countries. Notice how all Commonwealth countries are being infiltrated well are being overrun by that's all by design by these religious people from these other countries that are not Commonwealth countries it's all by design, oil and gas control, okay, stuff like that. And I'm just catching up to what's happening a year ago or two years ago. I'm catching up to what's happening. And you got Antifa, you got the Hillary's and Obama followers, and they're like Antifa and stuff. As soon as Hillary lost, all hell broke loose. And everybody's going, I'm like, what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Like, I can't figure it out, right? I didn't see it yet. I didn't see it yet. But I know it's a, it's a, it's a ops, you know, black ops, psyop, George Soros funding thing. Because that's what George Soros does. He takes down countries, right? So every, every, every thing that George Soros dumps billions into is to disrupt the country, divide and conquer and bring it down, collapse it. And that's what he does. That's his little uh, hallmark. Him and the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, okay? And I know it, but I can't see it yet. Why the Muslims, the M-words, sorry, M-word, don't want to say why, why they're coming over here, right? I don't really care, okay? They're all nuts. Everybody who has a religion to me and is fundamentalist is nuts, okay? Just, I'm, I'm down to anybody that has a religion needs help, <laughs> needs to know the truth. <laughs> I don't belong, just to tell you, I don't belong to any religion, I don't belong to any, in my heart, in my true heart, in my innocence, in the spark of the light, I don't belong to any country, I don't belong to any religion, I don't belong to any, any group, political group, nothing like that, nothing. I mean, all the way down to Greenpeace, Earth First. Sea, sea Shepherd Conservation Society. I don't belong to anyone, right? I'll I'll put my money into like Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, Earth First, but I won't. You know, buying shirts and stuff. But I won't. I won't join. I will not join any group out there. I'll join groups on Facebook, you know, my interests and stuff. But that's about as far as it goes. And I, I really don't support anything other than the Toronto Maple Leafs. Cause I, I need it. <laughs> I need it. It's like a drug. I grew up with hockey from day one. I had no choice and I love it. I love playing it. It's fun. I love the fight. I love the stuff. The hockey the skill. The fun. Just the fun to get on the ice and play in hockey. So I'm just giving you a thing of me. So you can't convict me of bullshit stereotypes and what you piece, whatever stuff. You know, I'm going to get attacked for this, so just want to let you know. So, I'm confused. What the hell's going on? Antifa, Black Lives Matter. Antifa, Black Lives Matter. Um, the abortion people there, what are they called? I don't know. There's a, they're all run by George Soros. They're all funded by George Soros. Okay, George Soros backs Hillary. George Soros backs Obama. George Soros is back in Bush way back. It all started before 
9-11, okay? And the girl who knew, I forgot, Rosalind or something like that, she was talking to the Nazi guy who built the rockets, and the, he said, I forgot his name, I'm making a video, I can't remember all the names at this point, but you'll, you'll get it if you follow my stuff. He said, the, the, the control mechanism set on the earth, one's going to be, uh, whatever, one of them is terrorism, so we got to deal with terrorism. And he was right, terrorism's right now, and ain't going away anytime soon. The next one's going to be a meteor from outer space, the threat from outer space, to control the population, to keep the, peop the population stupid and lost. And it's all the Illuminati that they're implementing it. And that to keep us divided and conquered, which keeps us under control, okay? Now, you don't even have people that don't believe that. Good on you. Have a good day. I ain't there. I'm not going to. I cannot and I will not because I am there. I see it. 1,010% is fact to me, okay? False flags, all that. False flag, you kill a bunch of people, blame it on the other guy. Okay? And it's all done by the other guys, the good guys. But they're actually bad guys. False flag. So don't, so I'm there, I see it, I'm 100%. Okay? 1,000%. Done. We are controlled on 20 different levels. We don't even know how to see it, but you can see it. So this, I'm confused about the Black Lives Matter and Antifa because they're the violent ones and, you know, the people that are following Hillary and Obama. And they just buy it. And then one of the Hollywood figures, a bunch of Hollywood people who all are funded and by the same Soros people and the Satanists and all, oh Christ, it's a whole faction, no, that's a whole faction cult group of pedos and freaks, totally messed up, they, Hollywood people, get on here and go, I want to blow up the White House, all that shit, so that inflames, okay, now, you get the priests, the M priests, and the Christian priests, and you divide and conquer. They're all fire starters, okay? But I more particularly want to know why they're doing the M culture. And the reason why is because history repeats itself in the and the reason history repeats itself is because it's designed that way. So go back to the Crusades, go back before the Crusades and see what happened. And it's exact and go to the Nazis. The Nazi ideology and the M ideology. Watch the history on that. The real history. As best as you can get it. Specifically about the M culture and the Nazi ideology. The M ideology and the Nazi ideology. Watch what they did in World War II and then how it's working out today and how they got that. The M culture and the Nazi ideology culture to why they did what they did because it was repeated in history bad guys always repeat history because it works okay normal people look at history and say we don't do that again because that's bad so let's move on try something different whatever so we're all being controlled I want to know how it all fucking fits right because I don't know yeah I'm just catching up and so I can see the hate preachers on there, the hate preachers, both sides preaching their shit. Okay? Christ in me says everything's an illusion, which means you ain't going to see the illusion if you're a part of the illusion. Okay? So you ain't going to see it unless you're part of it. And I've never, and the reason I can see things is because I've never been a part, all my life, mostly all my life, never been a part any religion, any group, any nationality, any nothing. Okay? Now, if it comes down to the SS shooting my family, shooting my culture, shooting up my culture, 
the little kids pulling all the George Soros and all the stuff and I know it's all a big game but when the Nazis are not walking down the street and they're shooting little kids and raping them and putting them on the black market shooting them in the head taking out their pineal gland and eating it so they can get high that's where I draw the line okay <laughs> That's when I pick up the gun and go join the fucking army or just become a rebel, all right? And that's that's how I feel. That's how I am. So this is my world. I have to live in it. I don't want to be a part in my heart. You know where I stand. I'm universal culture, peace, and love, and happiness. But when it comes down to little kids getting chopped up, I will not stand there and let it happen. Okay? That's all. Okay, so when an M person comes up and won't shake my girlfriend's hand and recoils and like, get that fucking thing away from me, okay, I'm laughing because I know he's a victim and I know he's a bitch and I know he's suffering. And so I'm laughing, but I also, I know in my heart what it means. And what that means is it means this, okay? He's from a victim religion. He's from a victim religion. And for him to shake a girl's hand, well, he's given her power, okay? And he's degrading himself in the eyes of his religion. So for him to shake his hand, he might get a heart on. It might it might be nice to him. So his religion says don't shake her hand, because this will happen. And that's what that means, okay? So that's why in the M religion, they have their, uh, I don't know, I can't go down the rabbit hole in that. I didn't even want to think about it. But that's why they do what they do. Because their religion dictates their own biological psycho psychology. So, shake a girl's hand, get a heart on, she smiles at you, immediately beat the hell out of her. Cover her up with a uh, hob job. This is what their... Uh, do okay and whatever it's over there we're in Canada to get away from that shit now they're coming over here they implement they came into Parliament and starting to make laws to do the Sharia thing okay I'm like that is never gonna happen you cannot tell me that they're gonna get into Parliament and they're gonna make a law that says no more drinking beer. No more having women walking down the street in their bathing suits. No more going on the beach and having a beer. No more letting your dog run around free. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. We're ready to fight and die for that shit. <laughs> it's never going to happen in America, in Europe, all that. Trust me, as soon as that person who put, that, put them in power, as soon as... The next, as soon as the next person who's normal, more or less, the next politician who's normal gets into power, they'll take it all away. And if they don't, by then, well, there'll be hell and war to pay because you cannot, no, no one is going to submit to that. No one, they'll die. Die! You tell them, yeah, take away their beer, take away their women. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, and that's why you're seeing what they're seeing, because they're trying to change the culture of us. But inherently, in our fucking DNA, we want to be free. Now, everybody does. Everybody does. So why? how can you be free and go back to the Stone Age? You can't. There's going to be automatic war. And the guys who set it up, The Rothschilds, the uh, George Soros, all these guys, these heads of the Illuminati, they all set it up because they know damn well from history. The Muslims conquered us, went through all the countries. Oops. They say that the M guys went through all the countries in Europe. And then the Crusades happened, pushed them all back, and that's exactly what's going on now. And that's exactly what happened in World War II. But they just dropped in with Hitler and decided. They're going to do it with Hitler. But it's all, it's a little different, but it's the same game. 
And that's what they're doing. Divide and conquer. They don't even care how long it lasts or whatever, as long as we're always divided. That's the fucking main point in the Illuminati's eyes. I wanted to know what the hell was going on, so I had this vision. And in the vision, I, uh, I'm walking, I fall asleep, and I was questioning what the hell's going on with the Black Lives Matter and all Antifa and all that. So, I'm working for an M guy in his culture, which is fine. We get along pretty good. He pays me in breadsticks. So basically, he gets, get out of here, you know, get out of here, Christian under underling piece of shit. Here's your breadsticks, fuck off, right? And I know it. And I laughed, I laughed. I'm like, breadsticks, really? That's what you're giving me? <laughs> and I laughed. Then I left, and I walk out on the street. And fire trucks were coming down the street. And on top of the fire truck was a big giant TV showing fire, fires. And uh, it was like CNN, the news, right? On top of the fire truck. So, propaganda. They're putting out false information about what's go what's they're giving you the information which is wrong information fire trucks coming down the news is showing the fire and they're telling you don't go there don't 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 do this don't do that get out of there get out of the fire area I look to my right and I see a fire out in a cornfield okay where I lived back in the past when I was a little kid. And it's fear. The TV on top of the fire truck, the lights, the sound. Rawr, 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 panic, panic, fire, fire. That's what they're showing on TV. Ah, you, get, you, know, you get all fucking jacked up. You're all fucking afraid. You know? And um, there's a fire going on out in the cornfield, in the middle of the cornfield. So I run over and I'm looking, and the fire trucks are pulling up over by the fire. And. I see uh, an M guy, and he's got his uh, priest outfit on, and he's a priest, and he's reading from the book, his his cult book, and he's reading, and the fire's going, okay. Then from behind him comes a blue ghost, like a blue electric blue ghost and it's standing behind him and I feel the ghost is mentally spiritually telling the end guy what to do what to say okay now he and then I see other priests out in the field standing there and blue guys come up to him they all start reading the book and the fires start where he's reading the book on the ground fires start on the ground and they're just standing there and the fire's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and he's standing there reading each one of these priests the M priest has a blue guy standing behind him electric blue okay and they're all, to me, they're ghosts. And the ghosts are controlling what, what he's saying. The fire department starts putting out the fire. But the fire consumes the firemen. And the firemen catch on fire. The police cordon off all the streets. They run in with the firemen to help the firemen that are now burning. And it's spreading into the neighborhoods now. It's spreading. It's going to spread into the land. Into the houses. And the fire trucks of the TV still going. Oh, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. You got to do this. You got to do that. The propaganda. So they're telling you. The TV's telling you one thing. Meanwhile, this is going on. Okay? So it's inverted. Inverted reality. It's an illusion. So I... I'm watching all this. The cops line up on the street, and they realize that it's these these priests, and they all take aim 
and then they the priest is just standing there reading and the, they start shooting the priests okay and the fire is can, right up against the police where they're shooting because they realize the police instantly realize that this guy is talking and the fire is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and spreading now the fire the fire is the hate being spread through the TV okay the propaganda bullshit and George Soros and all that so the he the fire starters the priests are the fire starters okay along with the TV to inflame the confusion the propaganda of what's really going on okay so you never know what's really going on but the police know only one thing kill the son of a bitch who's starting to fire okay so the police start shooting but they can't hit them for some reason and they they all get consumed with fire and they're burning on the street pretty soon the fire starts spreading I get on my bike and I'm like oh shit I gotta go home I gotta go home because I don't want to I gotta get my dog out of the house and everything before the fire crosses the street and kills it so I get on my bike I'm riding my bike I ride home and then more fire trucks go by and I wake up okay so that is pretty straightforward I can't remember all the super details of the dream there's more but I got it they took my YouTube video they took my YouTube channel away okay now they took my YouTube channel away because I did reverse speech on this stuff Okay, this stuff is specifically and on Clinton's, the Obamas, all that stuff. Not the M culture. I didn't do any, any of that. I was more interested in the news reports and stuff like that. And that's why I got my channel taken away. So... I have to make all these videos over again. I can't remember every damn dream from a year or two ago. But I remember the whole meaning behind it. So I just want to put that out. That's why shit's going on the way it is today. And the only reason is because the Illuminati started it. They had to divide into factions. They knew it would happen by bringing the M culture into a free society. Whatever. As far as freedom goes. Okay. We're all controlled and every 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 everywhere but they know this religion is so archaic and crazy and bad it's not gonna work over here then you I just okay everybody's getting along you know and culture Christians they're all getting along we can't have that send in the hate preachers spark the fires pay off Antifa pay off Black Lives Matter pay off you know BAM couple false flags the shooting in an LV the Las Vegas um, the Twin Towers a whole bunch more done up a couple churches Christian churches get the ball rolling that's the Illuminati they pay off a crackhead say where well, you're gonna be living up good go do this all right He's already in prison. He's already getting the mind control drugs. He's already got the CIA. They came and talked to him. They got their little man. They're going to give him up. They promise I'll give you $500,000. A million. A million five hundred. Let's make a deal. He goes out there, shoots up the church. And all of a sudden, he's in prison. You never see him again. Or he ends up dead. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what they do, man. They got it down to an art. And that's all from the Nazi PSYOP shit they did with them fucking, you know, Mengele guys. They learned all that. You wouldn't believe it. Watch the Nazi history on the drugs they gave the army. On what the drugs they were doing. And how the PSYOP, on the psychological mind, what they did to their victims and tortured them to learn the psychological processes of the brain. These fucking Nazis were fucking smart. They are brutal in the way they did things. Totally anti-life parasite scum. But they got the information. That's why when the U.S. and Russia and Canada 
when they ended the war, they grabbed them all and brought them right back and continued the experiments. I know it. Because Jello Biafra knows all that shit. And he did it to me. Jello Biafra meaning Christ. A Christ that I call Jello Biafra. Okay, just don't want to confuse you. That's how I see it. That's the dream I had about what's going on on the CNNs. Fake news. They're all fake news. Find the most nicest news you can. Read that for what's going on. But you got to know the fake news. And you got to know the better. The left news and the right news. The controlled news and the not so controlled news. You watch that. Don't get emotional about it. Just watch it for what it is. See what's going on. See from your heart. I knew something was going on from my heart. I asked, what the hell's going on? I had the dream. Stay out of it. Stay emotionally out of it. I know it's hard, but you're not being attacked right now. When the fucking Nazis are knocking at your door, then you get pissed, okay? Because everything you see on the TV could be a fucking false flag. Bullshit. Just like the UFOs. It's the fucking... These guys and the CIA... Whoever's making these videos and these bullshit propaganda videos, they're good. They're good. How The White Hats, look what they did. They're all moving here to Canada. The White Hats, in the, wherever it was, one of them M countries, Syria, I think. They're doing false flags. They're being caught. It's all over the Internet. Anybody who knows anything, right? Anybody who knows anything can see it's bullshit. You know, how many how many times is the same guy, same little kid, got to die in each country over the past two years? <laughs> you know, right? They're all the same players. They, they invest so much money to, to, to buy an actor and get them and control them. They're going to use the actor over and over and over. If, once you start seeing, you don't react. You get to watch the whole thing over and over and over. And you can see it. You can see it's the same fucking person. Same scenario, same thing. Just like the Boston bombing, all the things here going on. It's the same thing. So I, I, this is just one, when I started cluing in to how I clued in to what the hell the PSYOP was on North America. All the Commonwealth countries, okay? They're all controlled by the Commonwealth. But it's a little bit nicer control than all them countries. Why the hell do you think they're all coming here so crazy? And I'm not saying I'm not saying it's bad that they're coming here. But there ain't gonna be no fucking Sharia law here. That's for damn sure. Cause they're gonna I'll you know, I'll pick it up. I'll, I'm ready to go. As soon as they start implementing that shit. And that's personal. That's for my kids. I don't have any, but my kids, your kids. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. I don't see it. As soon as they get rid of these, the Prime Minister, Trump came in, he squashed it, supposedly, we'll find out. As soon as we get rid of our Prime Minister, vote him out, get somebody else in there to change things up, it'll all work out in the end. Christ has got it. I know we ain't got the best system, but can I go into part two and the next Illuminati dream I had? I'm down to 11 seconds here. Okay, later.